Hi, my name is Anthony Stans. I'm a pediatric orthopedic surgeon here at the Mayo Clinic, and I'll be talking this morning for a few minutes about scoliosis. Scoliosis is a sideways curvature to your back, and it can be caused by a variety of different um, medical conditions. Uh, the most common scoliosis we call idiopathic scoliosis, which means that we don't perfectly understand what causes it. Uh, it's most common in females, and it's most common in adolescents, ages 10 and above, but can also occur in younger patients. Uh, when it occurs in children less than age 3, it's called infantile scoliosis. In children between ages 3 and 10, juvenile scoliosis, and in children older than 10, adolescent scoliosis. Um, we have several different kinds of treatment for scoliosis, and it varies based on the size of the curve and the age of the patient. Infantile scoliosis is one of the most difficult forms to treat. Fortunately, it's one of the least common. For uh, infants, children less than age three, we often use cast treatment. Uh, the child is um, anesthetized and put on a special table and um, we gently um, try to mold and straighten the child's back and uh, apply a cast in that position. This is a treatment that is regaining popularity. It's very labor intensive, but it uh, is also very effective for a problem that has no other good uh, treatment options. Uh, juvenile patients between ages 3 and 10, we often use brace treatment if the curve is in the moderate range between 25 and 50 degrees. Brace treatment can often prevent the curve from progressing in juvenile patients. Similarly, in the most common group of patients, adolescents, uh, brace treatment is used uh, often very effectively to prevent the curve from getting worse. A couple of important things to know about brace treatment is that brace treatment does not permanently correct the curvature. Uh, the main purpose of brace treatment is to prevent it from getting worse. And so you can see why we would not want the curve to be allowed to become too large before we initiate brace treatment. Typically, brace treatment is used for patients who have curves between uh, 25 and 50 degrees. Once the curve gets to be greater than 50 degrees, um, we know that brace treatment is much less effective. And so for the vast majority of patients who have curves greater than 50 degrees, uh, they often benefit from surgical treatment. In young patients, uh, we often use what we call quote-unquote growing rod constructs, where uh, rods are placed and then are gradually distracted or lengthened periodically over time, often approximately every six months. And this allows partial correction of the curvature uh, without uh, fusing it in place, which is the traditional surgery for scoliosis. Um, this can be a long process. Uh, on average, the patient is perhaps five or so years old when the growing rod treatment is initiated. And it might continue for uh, eight or so years so that uh, uh, definitive surgery is done when children are um, 12 to 14 years of age. During that five to eight years, they're undergoing lengthening every six months, so it's many trips uh, back to the hospital. Uh, but still, the growing rod procedure is uh, uh, the best option we have for a very challenging problem. For patients older than age 12, approximately, uh, we typically perform uh, spinal instrumentation and fusion. And in this procedure, uh, rods are placed alongside the spine, and we use different points of fixation or attachment to the spine, which can be screws, hooks, or wires. And in combination with the rod, we use these to straighten the spine and hold it straight. We place uh, bone graft on the roughened surface of bone, and this causes the bones to grow or heal together into a solid sheet of bone, and this prevents the curvature from ever coming back. Fortunately, spinal instrumentation and fusion surgery is very successful uh, with few complications, and we have considerable experience doing that. Here at Mayo, we're fortunate to have a team uh, that can uh, help manage scoliosis very effectively at all ages uh, and stages of treatment. And so we have the expertise to perform casting for young children, bracing of children that are juvenile and adolescent age, and uh, excellent experience with surgical treatment.